Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place this weekend in two. We're in Cuscus, Couscous, whatever the hell it's called, and we need to go find Hi-Ho. Because remember, they drop us off here, so they should still be around. Now, I saved before doing this because I don't want to lose a lot of money. Um, I would like to gain a lot of money. I also put Freed in my party for two reasons. One, we're going to need this wooden shield. Thank you. Two, we need him to, to recruit someone a little bit later. Hi. What's wrong, kid? Uh, please join our group. Join your group? Hmm. What should I do? What do you think, Yamku? No matter what I say, you probably already made up your mind. Yeah, well, hey kid, I suppose I could join up with your group. But I've got a rule never to mess with people with bad luck. How about it? I want to test your luck. Of course! Okay, let's do it! So I have to win $5,000 from him. I already know the rules. Let's play, let's bet 3,000 and by golly, Miss Molly, you better get like a triple one or something. At least triple ones. <gasps> oh, if that was a three, I would have been really happy. And that's about it. Now we could just win two games. That's also very pop like possible. Or we can lose, or we can just lose. Yeah, it is a piss, isn't it, Taiho? Ah, oh, you dick. Okay. Two. I can beat a two. I can beat a two. Okay, I can just not get a score as well. Three, six. I oh, well, you know what? I did beat a two, right? Thank you for the money. Now I just need to win 2,000 more. So let's just go ahead and bet three more thousand because I like me some money. Get a triple one, please. Shit. Okay, I need triples of anything but one. Okay, we, it's a tie. Yeah. Please just lose. Five again? Hey, I win though. <laughs> Jerk. Hey, you're not bad. I'm not surprised though. I had you pegged for a winner. Excuse me? You're not going to do it. we're not going to do it again, are you? Quite. Uh, I can make my own decision without you. Okay, I'll help you guys. Ah uh, no, not again. Alright, so Taiho and for some reason Yamku join. I guess he just doesn't want to leave his brother alone. Uh unlike the first game, Yamku actually does not join like battle party. Um, he does give you access to a mini game though, and like 99% of all JRPGs in this day and age, it's a fishing mini game. So that's cool. Uh, that's all we can do right here for right now. Uh, did I take that shield off of you? I did, great. You did it on camera, yeah, but I had to reset. Because the game's mean. I should totally save. To should totally save. Yeah, I should totally say before, well, I gotta go there anyway, so I'll do that when I get there. But yeah, let's head down to South Window. Um, did I put Luke in the party? I did, okay, great. Fantastic. Oh, you know what, I should check the item shop. I can do that on the way back. I think I already got the recipe from there, though. What about here, though? Oh, Old Book Volume 3, thank you very much. So be sure to grab that. Uh, Clive is still over there. He actually cannot be recruited right now. Uh, you can ask him to, but uh, you need to actually travel to pretty much Two River before you can actually do that. Uh, okay, so in here, go upstairs. Be like, hi, how's it going? Ha, huh, good Ryu. How have you been? Hey, it's Ryu. Long time no see. What, P doesn't get a voice, Kronos? No! Okay, let's ask him about that thing. Um, okay. But don't forget, if I win, you have to do what I say. Oh, that's fine. But if I win, you'll have to do whatever I say. Understand? Oh, God. Okay. Ryu, I, uh, I heard that the leader of the Dunan army is also named Ryu. Could that be you? Hill says you're one and the same, but that's not true, is it? Huh? Oh no! She's oh, she's gonna do that thing again. I don't like that. See, just like I told you, the first time I saw Ryu's beautiful eyes, I knew it. I knew that he would touch the lives of a lot of people. 
Bah, well, I guess my eyes are pretty ugly next to his, huh? Pouting doesn't suit you. Bah, forget it. Anyways, what are you gonna do now, Ryu? I'm thinking about maybe doing some more treasure hunting. I've already lost the house with all the other treasure hunting. We promised, didn't we, that we'd try to help? We're not soldiers and we can't offer to help with the fighting, but I think you can we can still help. So please let us. All right. Join the war. Remember, I won the bet. You have to do what I say. God dang it. Every time she wins this bet, she makes me fight in wars. All right, fine. I'm not sure if I can actually help out, but I'll do what I can. Uh, they're actually pretty useful. Hilda runs an inn, free of charge. Alex runs an item shop, so any item shop that you visited in the past that has the standard item is now populated in his inventory. So, you know, that's pretty dope. And they're gonna bring a child with them to the war. I mean, why not? A child's leading the army, so why not have a child in them? We also have Tuda and Pilika with us, so it's not really out of place. Totally save because I recruited Taiho and I don't want to lose that. So the next character we can recruit, um, super annoying, right? So you need a wooden shield, a sacrificial Jizo, Jizo, and a wind rune. I'm gonna take the wind rune off of Luke because I don't really use wind rune anyways. And you can just buy a wind rune anyway, like right here if you really really want to what do you have for rear finds water not really worth it so let's go ahead and take luke's wind rune off 300 potch is a lot better than say uh 5000 at the moment but we'll be getting wind rune later anyways and we can put anything on luke and he'll be very viable with it um i do want to take off the fear rune from the nami and put it on ryu because ryu has his other slot available and this will just make him super strong. There we go. Um, Pixie, and just probably sell a little bit later. And it allows Luke to attack from the back row with using some of his magical powers. It's all right. It's trash, actually. Forget I said it's all right. It's actually pretty trash. But if you like it, that's cool. Um, let's see. Uh, no, I'm good. I am going to sell that pixie rune, though. It's pretty decently, uh, decent money, right? So, yeah, we should be... i got to use that magic stone, or magic defense stone. I keep forgetting to do it. Hopefully at the end of this episode. So, the person we're looking for is in here. Hello. Uh, what do you want? Uh, would you like to join the group? I don't care about that. I need a sacrificial jizzo. Hurry and bring it to me. All right. Ah, what's this? A sacrificial jizzle. You lose these items, by the way. Did I ask for this? What I need is a wooden shield. What? What am I supposed to do with this? Uh, this piece of junk. Anyways, where's that wind crystal that I told you to get? Now, at this point, you throw the wind crystal at him. Ouch! What are you doing, you little punk? Huh? Ah, ah. Huh? Hmm! <laughs> I'm insane! Good, Ryu! It's good to stand up for yourselves. Well, I'll see you at Dune and Castle. Bye. What? You're wondering what I, how I knew your name? Ah, you thought Dr. Adelaide we didn't even know that? Uh, well, anyways, let's hurry and go. Look at this! I call this invention an elevator! What do you mean it's already been invented? This is Adelaide's greatest work! Use it carefully. I invented it! Yes, it wasn't someone else three years ago. Probably. What do you mean it keeps getting invented throughout history? It doesn't make any goddamn sense. All right, so, um, I mean, we have other runes we could put on Luke if we really, really wanted to. All right, we could put on the darkness rune. Huh. I mean, it's not that good, but... I mean, it's good enough. You know, I was kind of joking, but maybe I will put the darkness rune on him. Yeah. Uh, let's put away this old book. And... Well, I guess I'll go back to self window to put on the darkness rune. And then I will... Meet you guys at Raditown? 
Oh, apparently we get to actually keep the darkness, uh, not darkness, but the wind rune that we threw at him. So I guess he can just have this bat, right? Because why not? But you do lose the sacrificial jizzo and the, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, wooden shield. If you don't throw the wind crystal at him, you have to start over. So I can't stress it enough to throw the wood crystal at him because even if you don't, you don't get the wind crystal back if you do that. That one is for a certain, so you lose a lot of money if you don't throw it at him. But, like, you also just have to get another wooden shield, and that's just never easy. Like, it's just super annoying because, like, you, like, you, you, I think it's a, is it a rare find over here? The sacrificial jizzo, I think, is a, is an item that you could buy in a store. Oh, no, you can just buy it. Never mind. It's actually super easy. But yeah, okay, maybe it's not that annoying. You just lose a bunch of money because the sacrificial jewel is a couple thousand dollars. The wind rune is five thousand dollars, and you know there's no price that you can put on your time. All right, we're back at Rabbit Town, so let's go see Richmond. Hey, dog, how's it going? Not stupid pot. Say, I've been it's been a long time. It's been like a day. I know you. You're the leader of the Dunan army now, right? Well, best of luck. Hey, like join our group. So you came back, huh? I knew you would. Well, I guess I could join your group, but why should I? Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll toss a co this coin, and if it, if you guess right, I'll join you. How about it? Okay. Here it goes. Uh, well, tails. Oh, so close, it's hands. One more time. Clearly, you're using a double-headed coin. <laughs> Too bad it's tails. All right. Well, I give up. Oh well. If you change your mind, come back. Okay. So what we need to do is totally figure out that he's cheating. Hi. Uh, you bet with Richmond? That guy's a cheat. Here, he uses a chick coin. You can tell which side is which until, while he while it's in his hand. All he has to do is flip it over. That's why you, ne you never win. Listen here, boy. Use this coin. Go challenge him. All right. So go back to Richmond. Like, hey, dog. What's up? Uh, use this coin. <laughs> you figured it out, huh? Sorry for tricking you, but Ryu, a leader, has to learn to see through cheap chicks like that. Got it? He's right. Okay, a promise is a promise. I'll join your group. Now, new to Suikoden series is investigations. Uh, Rick, Richmond here will actually, you can go to him and be like, hey, can you investigate uh, a party member? And this will give you lore based on the party member that you're investigating. It will give like their age, their place of birth, uh, also little tidbits of like stuff they like, it, food they like even, which helps for another mini game in this game. But yeah, it's actually very insightful for some characters. Not all of them are insightful. Some of them are just kind of like useless, but... At the same time, he can also actually pin, like, not pinpoint, but point in direction of recruitable party members. So if you remember this lady from earlier, she asked you if you knew her husband. Oh, should we take a rest? Oh, hello there. I'm sorry, but I didn't notice that we had a visitor. It's you! Are you okay? Are you okay? Y uh, Yoshino was worried about you. She talks in the third person for some reason. Yoshino, uh, I'm sorry. If you were okay, why, why, why didn't you tell me? South Window surrendered and Lord Grandmire was killed. I was so worried. Why didn't you send word? Yoshino, after Grandmire died, I, it was my duty to do whatever I could for the people of South Window. Now it's time to fight. It's not the time for me to worry about my personal affairs. Your sense of duty, that's why I love you. But, but, you came back to me. You came back to Yoshino. Yeah, Yoshino, I'm sorry. But I'm here on business with Lord Ryu. When our task is done, I have to leave again. Freed. Yoshino, just wait a little longer. This war will be over soon. No, it won't. I will not. What? What did you say? I said I won't wait any longer. Good Ryu, please take me along. Uh, with you. I'm pretty good with my Naga... Naginata? Yeah, that's about... That's probably about right. And I can do... It's, it's like a... So it's like a blade at the end of a pole, right? It's it's not a spear. And it's not a halberd. It's kind of almost like a halberd, but it's mostly just the blade. There's no pokey bits. And it's a lot lighter. 
She can also do laundry, which is fantastic, because good lord, do we need it. I wish to fight alongside my lord, Freed. He's your husband. Please take me with you. Uh, sure. Really? <gasps> Thank you so much! Lord Ryu! No, I mean, of course, it's your decision to make. I won't interfere. Freed, I don't want to be apart from you. I don't want to worry about you each day. Even if it's, in, if it's dangerous, I'd rather face that danger with you than be alone. Shino, it is dangerous, but I promise you that I won't ever let anything happen to you. Oh, this is nice. A little just awkward as hell. But then, once I'm ready, I'll move things to the Dunin Castle. You gonna steal any of your stuff? This pot? No? Okay. Now, if you brought Freed here back uh, when you came here to get, like, a shoe, uh, you she wouldn't be there. Like, Freed would have actually come in and been like, oh, that's weird. She's not here. And then that's it. Uh, just make sure I already got that. All right, so the only other person here we can actually get is Amada. So we need to go back to this little port area over here and talk to him. Uh, you know, we'll show up the fishing mini game when we go back to the castle as well. Hey, dog, what's up? I would like you to join my party. Your group, huh? You mean you want me to travel here, uh, to sea with me? No, I want you to fight and give your life for my cause. Okay, here's what I'll do. Uh, because of what happened last time, this time we'll uh, th this time we'll decide it. One on one battle with me. Uh, if you win, I'll join your group. Okay, I mean I already beat your ass. And I guess you could make the argument that he was maybe holding back because he thought I was kidding. But I wasn't kidding, and I will wreck you. Oh, will I wreck you? Not only. Actually, I'm the same level as before, but. I have recruited more people, thus my attack has gotten a lot stronger. Uh, you're attacking, because I think that was attack last time, so wild attack. I like them apples. Oh, 41 to my 144? Damn it, damn it, damn it, gotta think! Um, I think that's a defend? Should really pull up the dialogue notes. I won't fall for that again! Uh, shit. I won't fall for that again. Hmm... Is that a wild attack? No. Because me I'm gonna defend. Oh, okay, let's just defend. Thinking the same thing, huh? Come on, let's go! This? No, that that was not a wild attack. Is that attack or is that? A, I think it's a. I think it's an attack. Okay, I think I won. Yeah, I kicked your ass. Huh, that's more like it. Leader must be decisive. Okay, let's go. All right, so Amada joins. He's the last recruit we can get right now. Um, can I take that Earth Rune off of you, Nanami? Goodbye. I I'm sorry, but you've been in the party a lot. Uh, speaking of which, I should probably. I do want to see if I can take that Earth Rune off because I might want to put that. Oh, you know what? We haven't looked at the darkness spells yet. So, yeah. So as we can see, we already have access to Dark Shadow, which is a really good spell. Uh, right now, it does kind of suck a little bit later. Now, there's also this one. It doesn't hit everyone, but it still causes like 500 damage uh, to a row. And then we have this one, which is 300 to 1, heals own HP. It's fairly good. And then sudden death. The wind rune is pretty craptastic. Like, shredding's all right, but the cycle rune's a lot better. I'd rather put like a, I don't know. Hell, an Earth Rune would be better than the Wind Rune, maybe? No, yeah, I think Earthquake's still a level... I don't know, actually. Well, I gotta go check out if I can remove this Earth Rune from Amada's weapon anyways.
Ah, okay. So I can remove the Earth Rune. So it's a fairly all right rune, right? It adds five to your defense and heals three HP during combat. That's not too bad. Do I want to remove that? I mean, I could put it on Luke. Because it is somewhat better. I could also put the blue gate rune on Luke too, which I might do. Because it's a pretty good level one attack as well. You know what? I'm out of you get to keep that, okay, buddy? Hey, right, you know what? Let's go ahead and show off Richmond. Alright, so <laughs> always gotta go through this one. Um, this little animation. So let's see. How to gain companions that will show you like who you can recruit. Um it actually I think it always like Yeah, we actually have met these people before. So like if you talk to them it, it, it it shows the list. Well, Kaba, we can't actually get, we actually can't get any of these guys right now. Um, all honesty, it's yeah, we can't. You want me to just tell you? We need to go the 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 Lake City or Lake Town, uh, Lakeside Town, the place we gotta go to to get to Twin uh, Two River City, then come back and then we can recruit him. Stallion, we need to escape from fifty battles and talk to him when our castle's big enough. Well, Kaba. We need to talk to her when we're, I believe, past level 30, 32 maybe. By the time we get to her, we're gonna be like level 34. Uh, again, set two, uh, we need to have like a level three castle and we need to have our combined group attack power over 500 to recruit him. Uh, Lebrant, we need a Celadon urn to give to him when our castle's level three. Jude, we need to give him uh, clay much much later in the game and i mean much much later in the game as for this guy oh you know who that probably is that's probably is it genshin his name i think his name's genshin we saw him uh when we we're taking the boat out of uh <laughs> really 200 uh oh zames is 300 i forgot they actually cost the different amount <laughs> I love that sound. Um, yeah, when we left uh, the Coronet place, we saw a unique looking character. Uh, that's actually a recruitable character. Uh, we can't get him until we have a, a weapon level of over 14 or 15. So, hey, guess what? That's a long time from now. Um, you know, I guess... Sure. Check out her secrets please so after a certain amount of time or battles I think it's time based but it could be battle based he'll return with uh, his secrets discovered and then you have a little bit of lore information there all right so with either Amada or Taiho in the party you need to go back to that uh, war room by war room I mean the meeting room I guess it's all the same the best Rikimaru the food is great! The best! Okay, we really don't have a place of food yet, but sure. Hi, Nanami. This room is kind of small, but I guess Grandpa Gakai's house was just bigger because it was a dojo? Anyways, this is the best room. This is the best room because it's my room. That's that's the only reason you like I guess it's our room, maybe? I don't know. Only one bed. I guess that's not too weird, though. Maybe. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Hey, where were you, Ryu? Huh? Who's this guy? Hi! Watch hey, watch your mouth, pal. I'm a Mata. Ryu's begged me to so I uh, came all the way from Radat. The boat is down below. Please take care of it, Ryu. Hey, I was born to born on the sea, and that's where I plan to die. Just leave everything to me. If you bring Taiho, uh Flick and Victor are like, oh shit, Taiho, how's it going? Yeah, so Lake West Town Village, whatever the hell it's called. So Amada joins the convoy. Fitcher doing the comment. We need one more person in a party. And we need to get Freed out of the party. There we go. And then we gotta put his wife in the party, because that's funny. And what else? Oh, uh, no. Luke's already in the party. We'll bring him as a caster. Another caster wouldn't be too bad. Do we have any Rena? We haven't had Rena in the party for a while. We bring Taiho. He's pretty good. He has a killer rune on him. Actually, fairly strong, too. 
Who here haven't we had in the party in a while? I guess Taiho, because he's extremely new. Sure. Well, there we go. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> Luke, you go in the back, please. Thank you. All right, so now we need to go to uh, Lake West. <sighs> we could go there, come back, and get Clive. I might hold off on that. Because we're going to need to go to South Window for another thing after we finish in uh, uh, Two River. So let's check this out real fast. I think we still need to recruit more people, but I'm always bad at determining when this dude's going to show up. Um, actually, I think I need to go a little further. Okay, yeah. All right, so eventually, I think it's the next, the second level of the castle, the dude shows up there that I want, which isn't too far away, to be quite honest. Um, we just need a couple more recruits, which we can't get right now, but it's, it's, it is what it is. We can go to the cemetery over here. There's nothing here right now, except for spooky coffins. Pretty sure this is, we've moved all, uh, hey, Victor. Is that Daisy's grave? Is that where we moved her to? Yeah, I'm pretty sure these graves right now are uh, mostly of the people that were already buried at North Window. We had to move them off when we first came here. That, and they weren't really buried too properly because Victor was the one that did it, and he was only one person. It's, you can't really bury people properly with one people, one person. At least not in the, the, the speed that he did it just seem to fight and of course some of them are actually our soldiers that died during the last uh last battle we had or even if maybe before like people in south window um it gets bigger as we go i don't think any party members get buried there and then again i haven't had anyone actually died die like for anything at all like yeah i think the first time i played the game if someone died i Still think I've reset it, but at the same time, I might have left it. Don't leave everything to me. Okay, I'm not doing that just yet. I want to go fishing. Hi. Okay, so do you know how to fish? No, tell me. Well, you can use one of the fishing rods, but you have to pay 100 potch each time for bait. You can either use the fish you catch for cooking, or if you don't want it, I'll buy it. The price depends on the fish, and some fish cannot be used for cooking, so he'll just buy them. Anyways, uh, here's how the fish. Just cast out with your rod. Uh, once you cast out your line, just wait for the fish to strike. If you get tired of waiting, press the triangle button to reel in your line, but you'll have to change the bait. I don't know why. Uh, when you've got a fish on the line, press the X button uh, quickly to increase the power. The green gauge on the right is reuse pulling power. You have to match this with the fish's pulling power. As it struggles, the pulling power will change, so be careful, uh, be careful to keep them in sync. If the gauge turns red, it means you're pulling too hard, and if you keep it up, you'll pull the hook right out of its mouth, ripping its mouth off. On the other hand, if it turns blue, you're not pulling hard enough, and the fish will soon tear it off the hook. Or something like that. Uh, yeah, so... It's pretty much... Almost kind of like Stardew Valley's. It's a little easier than Stardew Valley's. I understand. But yeah, let's do it. I hope I catch something too. Let's just wait. Wait a little bit longer. Keep waiting. I don't have all day game. Guess I do have all day game. There we go. There we go. See, it's not that bad. There we oh, we got a squid! Can't use it for cooking. That's the right idea. Uh, 55 punch? Uh, yeah. I want to catch something that I can use for food, because this does actually affect a minigame later on. Well, not a minigame. It affects what you can actually make later on. So, eventually, we'll be getting something that can cook stuff for us. Um, that's what the recipes are for. Now, 
If we don't have the ingredients, we can't make it. That is a blowfish. I mean, we could use it for... Oh, 800? Oh, that makes up for that. All right, well, I'm done for now. Yeah, so you need the ingredients to make the food and the recipes uh, just so you can buy them, pretty much. Uh, there's a mini game where you cook stuff later. You don't need the ingredients for it. It's provided for the mini game, so you don't have to worry about it for that. To be quite honest, I don't fish that often in this game. It's not bad. It's definitely not the worst fishing mini game I've ever had. But at the same time, uh, it could be a little bit better. All right, let's head to Lake West next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all then. Bye.